Hi friends, what's Failure T and welcome to a new episode of Little Tour de France The Failure Way and today is the 15th stage of this year's Tour de France and it's from Limux to Foys. And this stage is gonna be quite awkward because once again I do not really like this stage because the fact that oh there is two good climbs but they are like how far away is this from the finish? It's eight eight kilometers well how are you gonna see how long it is? Oh, okay, it's around 20 kilometers out, and 20 kilometers to 50 kilometers, it's, it's not going to mean anything, really. So if any attacks on the top of this hill, it'll just get neutralized. So I want to say, a breaker, a breaker will win the stage, and the favorite will try to attack, but it will not help. Maybe Nibali or Evans can gain time on the, on the downhill, but they have pro proven to not be that useful. Like, I don't even think Evans is in his, in his form of his life like last year. Like, last year he could do anything. This year, he's not really doing much. So, I believe that a bigger way can win this stage. One guy that I believe in is Sandy Gazar. This guy has a nose of something like this. Him, David Moncoutier, Civil Chevenel, such riders. I'm just gonna put them all in one category. They can all, they can all do this sort of stuff. When you know it's gonna end in a breakaway, they will all try to get in the breakaway. So they are really, they know this sort of stuff. They, they're really clever, I have to say that they're really, really clever. So. If I were to put my money on someone, I would put it on a rider like Sandy Kassar, Patrick Rodrigo, David Makachev, Sylvain Chevenel, those guys. But if the unexpected happens, and a guy like Bradley Wiggins will get away, he will win the stage. And he can, in stages like this, where he can totally just destroy everyone, like, if him and, if him and his uh, team Dope could just set the pace up the two mountains, they could totally destroy the whole peloton, and they could gain two minutes again, and they would win the race. That's how easy it is, but I don't think they dare to do it because there are two more stages. Like Wednesday, the stage on Wednesday is one of the most important race and stages, so I don't think they really dare to do anything. A guy that needs to gain time is, Vin is Vincenzo Nibali. This guy needs to attack somehow, somehow, or somehow, somewhere, and sometime because he needs to do something. He is so far behind, like four minutes behind, I think it is, and he will lose around two minutes on the time trial like the 20th stage again, so if he cannot find somehow to gain some time, he will lose for certain. With this 15th stage from Limou to Foix, the road is 192 kilometers long, but the high mountains label only comes into play after the halfway mark. The Port de Lesse has a couple of hundred meters on the Mur de Peguerre, but it's the easier the climbs. The latter harbors some steep slopes, especially on the approaches to the summit. Crossing that first is no guarantee of stage victory, as there are still 40 kilometers to the line. Okay, there are 40 kilometers from that from that mountain there, and that means it's going to be even worthless, even more worthless. So let's see what we can do. I'll try to get in the breakaway and see what happens. There has not been much to report so far, but at this category two. I did not show it because it was kind of chaotic, so <laughs> I, I got confused. But so we entered one of them in front of me like a root and can. But before this breakaway, there was a 14 guys breakaway, but I got caught. Now we have five guys in the front, and that consists of Nick Newens, Yannis Books, Estelosa, Albacini in the Mountains jersey, and Goodyear. So it seems like Albacini is really going for it. And we already have a group here too, so it's going to be quite a tough day for the sprinters. I have to admit that they're going to be having a really, really hard day. Well, I'm not really taking any leads in the front, even though I should, possibly. I, th I maybe think I should, just to gain some more time. Oh, who, who's attacked? Samiento wants to get away again. He wants to get that mountain jersey, or those points. He's fourth, I think, yeah. He's fourth. Now I want to show the sprint down in the peloton again. I want to see what's going to happen. But before that, I just want to... Yeah, we're probably not going to see anything happening up there. Let's see, is anyone going to sprint for this? Yeah, second, there goes second, there goes second. Can Matthew Goss, is Matthew Goss anyway? No, Fred's going for it as well. Oh, fuck, sorry. Well, second one that I get, I guess. Oh, Fred's coming fast, Fred's coming really fast. <laughs> we haven't seen much of Fred, actually, in my opinion. Well, m Peter Sagan won that. And he gained a lot of points, though, I have to say. He gained like 15 or so. How many points did he gain? He, oh, gained 9. Yeah, it's still a lot, it's still a lot. So, we're now at the top. At this mountain, and I think what's it called? It's called Port de Lers, and the next one is called Mur de Bretagne. It's almost Mur de Bretagne. 
Come on, Ignorant, you're doing awesomely. I don't want, really want to sprint for this mountain chase because, yeah, I knew Abbasini and Samiento would sprint for it. L let's see who's going to win. Abbasini's going for... Oh my god, this is taking a lot of Ignorant's energy. This is really going to destroy him. So Abbasini's going. He's going to win it in front of Samiento. And now... Oh, good. Good that they did it at the last second. So now we can relax a bit again. Now we can gain some energy back. This is going to really tap hard, Ignorant's. I tried to bring some other guy riders that could do something, but there was really nothing that we really could do. But at the moment it's all looking fine, because I can see sitting nicely in the front, no one is attacking, that's just lovely. Oh, this is a nice, oh, oh, it just, just disappeared. At the moment, Albacini is actually in the yellow jersey, he's 16th in the GC, and at the moment he's in the yellow jersey, so if Sky lets this breakaway get home, Albacini is going to be in the yellow jersey. That's going to be really, really tough to deal with for him, I have to say. Well, see you at the top. I'm going to try not to panic, but I'm, I want to see if I can follow this. It's going to be tough, though. Oh, and Sars is apparently in the front. <laughs> Let's actually try to get away. I want to try to see if I can get away. Can we get away? Because the Pelton is not driving, so if we try to get away, would they follow? Oh, no, don't, don't block him. Can you get away, Sanson? Come on, Cruzanga. I want to look at the front. What's happening? Oh, yeah, Nick Newens is kind of dead. I would have kind of guessed that. But now we want to drive for Cruzanga. He's already gaining a lot in the Pelton. Come on, we can follow this. Nick Newens, you need to fall down and help Cruzanga. Come on, Cruzanga. You're gaining time. He's gaining time on the Pelton. He's gaining time. We can go 70. You just need to catch up. Nick Newton, you can just relax now. We need you to protect Kusanga when he gets up to you. 130, 130. We're, okay, we're losing. Oh, we're getting a bit of time then, again. Come on. Come on, Kusanga. Come on, Kusanga. Come on, Kusanga. They're not starting to attack behind us again, it seems like. 15, 14 guys. I want to drop. I want to drop. Where is he? Where is he? I want to drop him down to him. I'm going to drop him down. He needs to help Kusanga when he comes. Come on. You need to help Kusanga. Where's Kusanga? Come on, Krusanga, for fuck's sake, get up to him. Can you do 75? Come on, you need to get up to him. Come on, Krusanga. Come on, we need you to come up to Nick Newens. It's your only really important job. Come on. Oh, you're, you're not close, you're not close, you're not close. Come on. Come on, you know, you know at him, you're now at him. Good. Almost. A rider is down. Oh god, no, no, no. You, need, you need to protect him now, you need to protect him now. The team's reins are pulling the pack forward, although Come on, are we have one minute and thirty, we have one minute and thirty. Come on, I don't really care about the breakaway, we're gonna win this. We just need to get as fast as possible, one minute thirty. There's considerable daylight back to the Peloton. Come on, one minute thirty. <laughs> Some team managers mustn't appreciate the fact that there is a breakaway, given that the pack has increased its Come on, what, we're still keeping a good leave of 1 minute 30. Oh, they're, they're attacking the front now, they're attacking in the front now. Uh, the Samiento's going away from the other guys, come on. 1 minute 40 now, 1 minute 48. We're still gaining a lot of time, come on. Come on, Grisanga. This is a time where you can get into top 10. 180, or uh, 150. Come on. Oh, now Nick Nunes is dead. Thanks for the great work, Nick Nunes. Thanks for it. It really meant a lot for him. I want to see, I want to count how much time we have down to them. 121. 120. 190. 170. <laughs> Come on, Chris Anger. One minute. How's it looking in the front? They are still sprinting for it. We're gaining some time again now. We're gaining some time again now. Come on, Chris Anger. Come on, Chris Anger. This is going to be one hell of a job if you can get one minute on the Pelton like that. Oh, how is it? They're going to sprint in front now. But it seems like they slowed down. Maybe we can get up to them. We're actually getting really, really close to the breakaway. Come on, how is this sprint going to go? How is this sprint going to go? What, oh, 1.5. Can they sprint for it? Come on, start to sprint. We want to see the sprint. No one want to sprint. They're too scared to sprint. Let's look at how Kusanga Sans is doing. Two minutes! Two minutes! He had two minutes, come on. We're not gonna start sprinting. I wanna see the front now. Oh, oh, I was too late. Yenisburg is gonna beat the other guys, it seems like. Yenisburg is gonna beat 
Gutierrez, Albacini, Estelosa, and Samiento fall behind. He used too many powers. But can we win a game 1 minute 45? That'd be awesome. So Yenis Bo Bo's won. Come on, Kuzanga. Come on, Kuzanga. Come on, Kuzanga. Come on, Kuzanga. You're still gaining time. You're still gaining time. You're still gaining time. 145. 127. 116. How much time can they gain on that? Oh, we did not gain much. We gained 50 seconds or so. Let's take a look. Can we see how 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 it went like? The race is run, but the poor souls bringing up the rear continue to cross the line. Oh, it doesn't show. It doesn't show time. But we we come we came sixth. I'm proud of Kazang how he did that. That's really good. I'll come back at the podiums. So we oh I just want to see the sprint now. You can see the sprint now from a, from a good angle. You can see that Yendo Spooks overhaul got here and the right last second, and the Abasini was actually close to getting out there. So let's see the podiums. Let's hope we're in top ten now. We gained we gained 50 seconds on the other guys. That's 50 seconds. That's good. That's really good. I'd say that's that's really nice. Come on. Oh fuck! I don't know if I skipped. Oh, I skipped it. Oh, I hate when that happens. Well, I need to go back then. And sorry for that. And Albacini just extended his lead in the Masters jersey. Sorry for that. That's kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> Well, we're just gonna see after the newspapers. We're just gonna see what we're placed now. We're still seven seventeenth. Oh my god! Oh, that's oh. How much? What is? How much time did Albacini get? Albacini is now ninth. Oh, what the hell? Albacini is now ninth. He gained so much time. He's ninth. But we're catching up to Vodapoles and all those riders. We're not far away. We gained some time. How could we gain? 50 seconds and still don't get anywhere. That's kind of disappointing. Well, we're gonna get up there. We're gonna get up there somehow. We just need to do early attacks like this when they don't expect it. Thanks for watching, guys. This was a success. We came top 10 and we took time on the other guys. We just didn't get anywhere.